hey guys welcome back to the channel so today we'll be doing this setup and it's been a couple weeks since i last dropped the tutorial so i wanted to give this video to you guys first um i know you guys been waiting so let's get started all right guys so as you know most of the time i work alone for my setups so i really try to come up with ways on how i can be more efficient due to me being by myself most of the time and it's by choice so i'm not complaining i'm just you know sharing what i be my thought process when i'm coming up with different ideas um i had a partial ceiling installed for this and as you see my my strip of orange kept falling. I had a partial ceiling installed. I love working on this particular ceiling because, as you can see, it's exposed and it's like metal. So, not only can I do magnets, I can also, it's not that high up. So, I can also just use 260s, which that's what I did for this ceiling. I used 260s. Something else that I did that worked, <clears throat> that allowed me to do the ceiling within like 20 minutes was... I made these strips of four foot balloons. Um, there are eight clusters. Um, sorry, not eight clusters. There are four clusters on each color strip. So there was four clusters of the pink and four clusters of the orange. Um, all both of the clusters, well, all the clusters had um, eight balloons, and they also had a lot of 16 inch balloons. I know you guys know I don't mess with 16 inch balloons that much in the body, but when it comes to silly installs, I learned pretty quickly that everything looks good in the ceiling. So I already add my, I had add a lot of 16 inch balloons because I wanted to fill up the area pretty quickly. And I also already add the five inch balloons on there. Again, it's the ceiling. I don't really have to do too much twisting and turning. Um, the only thing I wasn't really feeling about this, like the six, I'm sorry, about the ceiling balloons, but I probably would still do it again just because of how easy it was to just put up the strips of the four, um, the four foot garland instead of doing like cluster by cluster. Um, is the fact that it wasn't blended, like the colors because they like cluster when you do cluster by cluster um it doesn't blend the colors in that much it kind of you can kind of see like a line of where the next color begin and i kind of like to blend them and in order to blend the colors you kind of have to like mix two quads together and that kind of blends the color to the next color um, but again, it's a ceiling install. I was not doing all that. Um, I probably won't do that <laughs> even next time, even knowing that. I probably still won't do it just because it, it's a ceiling install. Everything still looks good. And it works out. Um, it worked out amazing as well because I was working on a two-color design. Um, so the less colors is always better for, I mean, I love working with more colors, but working with less colors is always great, too, because I don't really have to think about color placement a lot, which I do if I'm working with more than three or three, four or five colors. I'm, I'm really focused on color placement and shape. So when I don't have that many colors to work with, I usually just focus on a lot of the shape. So here I am um, in my head. As you guys know, I don't usually have a a design or a mock-up i don't do mock-ups um but i did have in my head like some kind of design i wanted to do and i i definitely wanted to break up the garland i didn't want a full garland that was attached to each other for this particular design i wanted to look like it was like splashed on the wall and coming down off the floor you, you guys know i love a big body on the floor coming down so that was my idea in my head and when i say i freestyle i do freestyle like i have ideas in my once the client book with me the design or what i'm going to do kind of lives in my head rent free um i think about it all the time once the, the client pays their deposit however i don't typically do a mock-up i usually I usually have some kind of idea in my head how I'm going to get the point A to C is usually is where the freestyle part come from. You know, I just go with the flow once I go on site. 
um, for the walls, I was using my black gaff tape and I also switched it. I don't know if I ran out of the gap, the black one. I, I did switch it and start using my clear gaff tape. Um, these walls are marble, so it's perfect. Um, it doesn't damage anything and I'm able to use it on the walls with my 260 using the H method and keep it moving. I don't have to worry about nothing else. So here I am. I'm just adding more clusters and you guys, I was made, I made a lot of clusters lately. I've been doing this lately. Uh, probably for the last few setups, I've been adding like a cluster with a, a quad attached to it. So either a cluster of eight balloons or a cluster of six balloons with a quad of four balloons already attached. Um, especially if I have more than three color designs because I know I'm going to use that quad to blend the next color in. So that's what I've been doing. Um, something else I been doing lately which i don't think i think i've been doing this you guys sorry i forgot what we discussed in the last tutorial so forgive me um uh, something else i've been doing as i've been finishing up a section i make sure i go ahead and add on my five inch balloons so i don't have to go especially because once i do this bottom portion it would be like impossible to reach this top portion to add the five inches on with the ladder. So, um, and I don't know if I mentioned this, I will leave the link to my ladder in the description box. It's from Lowe's, it's by Little Giants, and it's amazing. So now I'm on to the bottom section, which I'll be doing it the opposite color, the orange. And the colors are, uh, so Pixie, tough text pixie stuffed inside crystal magenta both of those are by, by tough text and the orange color is amber which is by colosan stuffed inside uh mandarin jewel which is by qualitex so those were the two colors they both were crystals the client wanted pink and orange and i came up with their pink color first and I sent it to her and she loved it and I'm like well we can't do a standard orange with this you know crystal and then I end up just going with the uh, mandarin jewel this bottom orange section was like mm, I don't know I, I was I was feeling it but then I wasn't feeling it it reminded me of the animal he got off the um, spy kids the one that had like all the faces uh because <laughs> the way it was like it was so many spikes from different angles uh so i wasn't really i don't know feeling it that much <clears throat> excuse me so one of the, I, the my favorite parts about this setup was the floral i think it absolutely made it 10 times better <laughs> uh, I love some good floral, you guys. I can't do floral. If I ever was to pivot out of balloons, I think I may go into floral. I don't know. I haven't done like a fresh floral, you know, setup before. Never took a class, none of that. But I don't know. I've been loving floral lately, so I I think is 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 in the back of my mind. I don't know. I'm gonna just leave it at that. So. <laughs> Um, for the back of the arch wall, I was using those clear adhesive hooks because, um, this particular vendor don't mind putting them as long as they on the back of the arch panel. She don't mind. Um, this, the event person I was doing this for was also the venue owner and the, um, vendor that I use a lot of backdrops from as well. Um, the sidebar. So this is her particular backdrop. She's in the Philadelphia area. Her business is the line, sorry, design led rentals. Um, and then her venues are the DLR suite luxury suite, which is in the Philadelphia area. And then the DLR diamond suite, which is in the King of Prussia area. Both look similar, but the sizes are different. The luxury suite is a more intimate space and the king of precious suite is more um it's bigger um but they both pretty much have the same marble look it's very beautiful um venue both of them so here i am i'm just finishing out i'm doing pretty much the same thing that i did on the left side but i will be <clears throat> you know changing the colors around kind of thing um 
and that's it. So I'm going and starting to add my five inch balloons. As I mentioned last time, I like to add those on before I jump in to finish the bottom portion. And this is that. I'm adding some more tape on the wall so I make sure um, these balloons don't move as I when I leave. So that's that. And that fell because I never tied it on. I just placed it there to look, to see how it will look. And I think I end up switching it around again um, to back to this. I think I switched it to orange and then I ended up taking it off because it looked too separate. And then I switched it back. So you guys, I think I did that off camera, but I ended up switching it back. Um, they both look good actually, looking at it this way too. No, yeah, that's why I switched it. <laughs> because the pink looked like it was separate a little bit. So I ended up switching it back to where though the orange was in the back part and that quad of pink. Well, they both was quads, but, you know, I switched it. So here I go. Um, and finishing the bottom. This was the last section. Um, both of those were two clusters. And, and because this was a two-color design, I did do a lot of those two clusters together and that was two clusters of eight balloons uh, with one 16 inch balloon in it so here i am i'm attaching that cluster of six because you know that cluster of six is not as thick as a cluster of eight and i did the same thing on the left side and i left this just like that i didn't add anything else it kind of looked like a split i added that quad in the front to give it the pointy look and from the front it looks like that's why sometimes playing with the balloons it kind of gives like an illusion because in front of front you wouldn't be able to think that i can walk inside of the balloons like that but i did and i could <laughs> because sometimes it's just an illusion you guys and this was the final setup i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it was everything you were looking for <laughs> I play. Uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave it in the description. Uh, wait, the comments box. <laughs> and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Please. Thank you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.